Now for our next number. Yeah. We've just decided to have a very informal show this evening. Yeah, with a minimum of scenery. Right, just a few simple props to illustrate the songs. We'll need a hobby horse. Mm -hmm. And a photograph. Mm -hmm. Don't forget the harpsichord. Ah. Uh, what was that? A red dog. What in the world are we doing with a red dog? Mm -hmm. Taking a trip up oh, to Abergavenny. Oh, the weather is hot. If you should see a red dog running free, well, you'll know he's mine. Chasing the hills oh, up to Abergavenny, I've got to get there and fast. I've got to get there and fast. If you can't go, then I promise to show you a photograph. Oh, what a photograph. Passing the time with paradise people, paradise people are fine by me. Sunshine forever, lovely weather. Don't you wish you could be? The weather got better, hoping the weather is fine. If you should see a red dog running free, well, you know he's mine. This dog is mine. This, is mine. this dog is mine. Oh, no, no, no. This Wasn't he? he was wonderful. 
Ah, good boy. Could it possibly be more red, could it? No. <laughs> um, we're very lucky in these strangely fragmented times to have songwriters who can put the fragments together again for us in brand new patterns. People like Bob Dylan, Gordon Lightfoot, Simon and Garfunkel, to name a few, they're really today's lyric poets. But these lyric poets are also very natural, down-to-earth people. Oh, yes. Like Joni Mitchell, for instance. Joni has a great love for animals. And any stray dog that wandered into her garden would be fed in a minute. Well. So long, champ. <laughs> now she's got another freeloader. <laughs> uh, yes, Joni Mitchell. She'll uh, cook you up a Saskatoon stew. She'll discuss the Dodger batting order. And then she'll sit down and write a beautiful song like this. Michael wakes you up with sweets. He takes you up streets. And the rain comes down. Sidewalk markets locked up tight. And umbrellas bright. Background. There's oil on the puddles in taffeta patterns that run down the grain in colored arrangements that Michael will change with a stick that he found. Michael from mountains go. up on swings like puppets on strings hanging in the sky they'll splash home to suppers in wallpapered kitchens their mothers will scold but michael will hold you to keep away cold till the sidewalks are dry Lazy blue eyes, moon 
comes up nights and taking the town by surprise night time night time day left an hour ago city light time must you get ready so slow there are places to come from and places to go Night in the city seems pretty to me Night in the city looks fine Music comes spilling out into the street Colors go flashing in time Go flashing in time Take off, take off Take off your stay-at-home shoes Break off, shake off, chase off those stay-at-home blues. Stay away, stay away, down to the crowds in the street. They go their way, looking for faces to greet. While we go on laughing with no one to meet. Night in the city seems pretty to me Night in the city looks fine Music comes spilling out into the street Colors go flashing in time Go flashing in time Go flashing in time Night in the city Go flashing in time, not in the city.
Got no deeds to do, no promises to keep. I'm dappled and drowsy and ready to sleep. Let the morning time drop all its petals on me. Life, I, I love, love you. you, all is groovy. Slow down, you move too fast. You got to make the morning last. Just kicking down on the cobblestones. Looking for fun and a feeling groovy. Hello, lamppost. Hello. What you know in? I've come to watch Hello. your flowers grow in. Now, haven't you got no rhymes for me? Do 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 do. Notice all the instruments we have here. All over the world, people invent different ways of making music. An East Indian tambura, an African finger piano, Japanese koto. You mean if Bob Dylan were Japanese, this is what he'd play? <laughs> no, it's more like what Pyotr Gorsky would play if he were Japanese. Uh -huh. I don't think he is, though. Probably not. Mm. So This one is obviously yours. With the melody and tolling loud, the woodland echoes ring. Hark, the pipes of Pan are calling with a merry lilt and swing. Hear their joyous caroling, the flowing, growing, rising, calling. Youth and joy must have their fling when the pipes of Pan are Chant it need the heart of made a man. Oh, when you pray, they seem to say, and catch us if you can. Come, follow, follow where they lead.
country pie. I won't throw it up in anybody's face. Shake me up that old peach tree. Mmm, little guy going and got nothing on me. Oh, yeah. I could be a sky full of birds, I'd fly now. Fly now, how, how I, I would fly. fly. Harry? Spreading my wings so high up in the sky now. Sky now, how, how I would on, fly. Harry.
is an actual recording of Julie at the age of 12. Do you really have to play that? This number made it the child sensation of London. Oh, come on, Harry. <laughs> Let's just listen to the beginning. It wipes me out. Ladies and gentlemen, Judy Andrews. Well, Judy, <laughs> is this the first time you've ever made a gramophone record? Oh, yes. Is it your first record, too? <laughs> Not exactly, no. How old are you? I'm 12. How old are you? I'm 12. <laughs> How old are you? Oh, come on, Harry. No, just the finale, just the finale. You know, I had a range of four octaves. I sang so high that dogs came from miles around. <laughs> <clears throat> I get scared listening to it. <laughs> bravo, bravo, bravo. Come on, Harry. You know, that was my first job in a review at the London Hippodrome. Must have been great fun singing all those flashy classics. Flashy classics? Well, they weren't all flashy classics. I sang a lot of English folk songs, too. You sing it, Harry. It's beautiful. Yeah, I think it's known the world over. It's what you call an everybody song. Yes. What kind of songs did you sing, Harry, when you were a kid? Well, I was born in New York, down in the West Indies, where I grew up. We didn't sing flashy classics. I guess in the West Indies you'd sing um, kooky calypsos. I'll have you know, my dear, that those kooky calypsos are a highly developed folk art. Tell me, do they really make them up on the spot? You're a fake if you don't. As a matter of fact, if you're a really classy fellow, you'll make it up about anything. Mm-hmm. The record player, this book, your dress, this red umbrella. Anything that comes into mind that you see or hear. Thank you. The music stand, this conga drum, this I play. You think a conga drum is for music alone, but in Africa they use it as a telephone. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Do 
This window shade you pull down at night, or the neighbor's going to get a delightful sight. Uh huh. Harry, that's shocking. That's what? Shocking. All right, then you make up something. Okay. Um. I can fly with my umbrella even when it rains, but it's no fun dodging all those aeroplanes. How was that? Could have been sexy. What, for Mary Poppins? <laughs> Historians tell us since time began, woman was always fooling man. Mm -hmm. What? I'm afraid <laughs> I can't agree there. That's true, and I'll prove it. In Calypso? I say, let us put man and a woman together to find out which one is smarter. Some say men, but I say no. The women got the men a beat, they should know, her, not me. But the people, they say that the man has always led a woman astray. But I say, please listen when I say, she's smarter than the man in every way. That's right, the woman is smarter. That's right, the woman is smarter. That's right. The woman is smarter, that's right, that's right. Garden of Eden was very nice. Adam never worked in paradise. Eve meets snake, paradise gone. Adam been working from that day on. Samson was the strongest man long ago. No one could have beat him, as we all know, until he clashed with Delilah on top of the bed. She told him all the strength was in the hair of his head. That's right, the woman is smarter. That's right, the woman is smarter. That's right, the woman is smarter. That's right, that's right. Harry, the best years of our lives. I spent all his life in tears Did without a woman for 900 years One day he decided to have some fun The poor man never lived to see 901 <laughs> Well, sitting bull captured Kit Carson's wife. He said, white woman, I'll spare you life. She said, thank you, chief, we'll repay you somehow. All of his folks on reservations now are not me. But the people, they say that the man has always led a woman astray. But I said, please listen when I say, she's smarter than the man in air. That's right. When you're a school child in England, you think of the United States as that sort of huge, rambunctious country over there that used to belong to us. Oh, they taught us all about how years ago you kicked us out and the Boston Tea Party and all that. We lost a biggie that time. Let me show you a map of the USA the way I thought of it as a child. I was just cutting out a rocky mountain. Now, uh, New York City is here, right there. It's full of very rich people who say darling a lot. And then they put on their jewels and they ride the subway to Coney Island. This is Coney Island, and it has this big statue of a lady on it, I think. Now, here is Washington, and that's just across from Delaware. There we are. Um, yes, here, these are the Superior Lakes, and this is the Mississippi. That's very hard to spell, so I always think of it as the Thames West. All in through here are cowboys and Indians. It's like the game we play, only they don't play fair. And this is Hollywood, where they make flicks and popcorn and people stand around in wet cement. Of course, now that I know the United States, I think it's really rather super. I wish we could have it back. Oh, I forgot. Down here is New Orleans. There's a character in that city, and he's called Mr. Bojangles. But Harry should tell you all about him. Oh, I knew a man 
and bojangles and he danced for you in worn out shoes with silver hair and ragged shirt and baggy pants the old soft shoe he jumped so high he jumped so high then he'd lightly touch down Mr. Bojangles Mr. Bojangles Mr. Bojangles Oh, I met him in a cell in New Orleans I was Down and out He looked to me to be The eyes of age As he spoke right out He talked of life He talked of life He laughed Slapped his leg a step He spoke the name Bojangle And he danced the lick Across the cell He grabbed his pants A band stance Oh, he jumped so high He clicked his heels He let go a laugh He let go Shook back his clothes all around Mr. Bojangles Mr. Bojangles Mr. Bojangles Mr. Bojangles Oh, 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 dance Oh, he dance for those at minstrel shows and county fairs throughout the south he spoke with tears of 15 years how his dog and he traveled about his dog up and died his dog up and died after 20 years, he still grieves. He said, now we're dancing every chance in honky tonks. Four drinks and tips, but most of the time I spend behind these county bars. Cause I drink so bad. He shook his head, and as he shook his head, I heard someone ask, please, Mr. Bojangles, Mr. Bojangles, Mr. Bojangles, what a cold day. Who 
Piano is biting me. Whoa, careful. St stop it, you. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I'd like you to meet Michel Legrand. Michel arranged and conducted our music tonight. Thank you, Robert. It was a labor of love. Oh, for me. bless you. I wish I could play the piano the way you do. But you will. Sit down. I'll show you how. You could? Yes. You have to know, for instance, let's start with uh, this note. This note is a do. Uh -huh. And a do is a lady dear. This note is a re. Yes, Michel, a... I think I've been there before. Ah, then uh, what about uh, this? Oh, no, not again. Well, yeah. maybe I could learn to play that. OK, if you want to learn to play that, you have to know that uh, these are the white keys on the keyboard. <laughs> these one are the black keys. <laughs> these are the high notes. And this one, guess? Low notes. Right, I'm ready you when you that? are. Good, very good. Okay. Ready? Let's and. play something. I have studied under Michel Legrand. Julie, come, it's time to leave. Oh, heck. Hey, Harry, how are we going to get out of here? Same way we came in. You mean up the down staircase? Not me, love. Come on. I have a wonderful surprise for you. Are you off your chum? Harry, what are you doing? Give me a hand with the stone head, will you? Oh, you mean you're going to put everything back? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Harry, I just don't see how that's going to be possible. But you must have faith, Mark. Come, close your eyes. Wait for the moment of magic. Super color fragile. Fragi, fra, fragi what? Super color fragilistic expialidocious. Super color fragilistic expialidocious. Nothing. I'm afraid I'm no Mary Poppins. Well, very few people are. <laughs> it's working.
you're absolutely electronic. Shall we go, love? Fine. Oh, taking the trip up to Abergavenny, offering the weather is fine. If you should see a red dog running free, well, you know he's mine. Chasing the hills up to Abergavenny, I've got to get there and pass. If you can go, then I'll to show you a photograph. I'm passing the time with paradise people, paradise people by my me. Sunshine forever, lovely weather, don't you wish you could be? See a red dog running free when you know he's mine. 